guys, I flippin' did it in six days while I was dropping them all, but I did it! Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steph, and yes, I completed the reading rush out of my three years' press pain. This is the first year I've actually defeated it and read all my books and done the video challenges and done a few Instagram challenges. I actually did it. I got all of the badges. I got all the videos done. I've gotten vlogs done. I did daily vlogs this year. That was a pain and I'll say I won't do it again but I'll probably do it next year. But oh my god I did it you guys. Like oh. This year has probably been the best experience with this readathon that I have ever had and I am just so hyped to have had it. And I can't believe I finished my entire TBR in six days and I read 196 pages before I added on another book that I started reading. But we're not going to talk about that because it's not technically part of this, but I read 2,000 pages just in the, the t this time frame. 2,000! That's, that's a lot of pages and I'm very excited. So real quick, I thought I would go through the books just to wrap things up, you know. Oh, I'm almost full again. And first, let's talk about even... I'm not going to say these in order because I forgot at this point. Um, first, let's talk about the one that I don't have because of the library loan. That is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I really didn't like that one. I think that was the worst book on my TBR. It was the shortest but the longest to get through. Actually, I take the back, it was the second shortest book because In the Heights is 170 something pages. It's shorter than Perks, but Perks was one of the worst books I've read this year and I feel really bad because it was one I was really hyped for. It's one of those pivotal teen novels, but I just really didn't like it. I felt like the character didn't really grow. He didn't really evolve. He cried a lot, which is not a bad thing for your character to be like sympathetic and emotional, but he was crying in almost every letter, multiple times in some letters, and it got kind of irritating after a while. I just didn't really like him as a character. He was very passive, I guess. He didn't really do anything. The story happened around him. He didn't really get too involved with his own story, and I didn't like it, and it made me sad because I was kind of excited for it. I also watched the movie, liked the movie a lot better, did not expect to see Paul Rudd, so Hell yeah. <laughs> I really liked the movie. Next up, let's talk about the past and other things that should or stay buried by Sean David Hutchison. This one I read on the same, finished on the same day as Perks Being Wallflower. This one I didn't really like that much either. It was a lot of, the whole book pretty much was characters fighting back and forth. And then change, like say, setting on one point and then switching it a few chapters later, which is all cool for people to change their mind and grow, but like they would just reverse opinions and then the fight. I deal with fighting enough IRL. I don't want to deal with it when I'm going into my escape mechanism. I didn't really like it. One of the characters, yeah, they tried to turn her out at the end, but she was not the greatest, and I guess she was supposed to be this wild character anyway, but I really didn't, really didn't like her, and even though I kind of, well, here's our reasons and a kind of a redemption arc, I still didn't really like her. It didn't, <laughs> it kind of bummed me out because I was really excited for this one because the cover is really pretty, but it is what it is. Did I even talk about what this book was about? This book is about a character whose best friend dies, and then somehow she comes back to life and they have to try and figure out well why did you come back to life and why is everyone just kind of stopped dying this is an issue next up we have cradle in all by james patterson and oh my goodness this one is about how do i describe it one virgin is pregnant with the antichrist and another virgin is um pregnant with the savior of all ends most of the book is them being pregnant and like the catholic like people coming in and be like whoa is this the bad one? Is this the good one? What are we gonna do? It's it's intense. There's some definite trigger warnings in this book um, for a lot of things, honestly. I don't even know where to start, but it was interesting. Definitely a lot more on the adult side. I doubt a lot of people that watch my videos and like, like YA books will really like this book, but it was interesting and yeah. Next up we have The Marauders by Tom Cooper. This book follows um, just a bunch of perspectives in Louisiana. There's been this giant oil spill by a company. It's taking out the shrimping business. It's ruining livelihoods. So we have some people going out looking for treasure to try and bring themselves back up. We have other, other people are trying to decide how they're gonna survive with this oil spill coming in. What are they gonna do? And honestly, the end was very unsatisfying. I mean, we follow this character for so much of the book. We've, like, things happen, and it's just very unsatisfying at the end, and that kind of bummed me out. Though there is, like, um, a quote from Stephen King on the front, like, a blurb in this book, but it still disappointed me, and I was, I was bummed about it. Then again, I paid a dollar for it at Dollar Tree, so I can't be too bummed. You get what you pay for. 
Next up, we have Beast Made of Nights by Toshi Obi Onibuchi. I hope I pronounced that right. This one, it's such an interesting concept. You have, if you've sinned and you're wealthy enough, you can, like, these people will come in and they will, like, absorb your skin, not your sin, skin, your sin. Your sin will take the form of some kind of beast. These people will come in and slay it and they will absorb your sin and they will wear your sin as a tattoo on themselves. And it's wild. There's also this conspiracy going on with royalty. And it's a very interesting book. Leaves you on a cliffhanger. I don't know if there's a book too. But Mr. Author Man, please give us more. <laughs> Next up we have In the Heights. One of my favorites. This was my five star read of the readathon. I am very happy with it. Mostly I read this because we have the Broadway. Like, well not the Broadway musical, but... Well, yeah, the Broadway musical is being turned into a movie that's coming out next year, and I needed a refresher because though I listen to it very frequently, there's some words that I don't get in the cast recording that are recorded here, and yes, I'm very excited for that movie, and I love this book so much. Finally, we have Vampires, Demons of the Ocean. This one follows two twins who get separated, one on a normal pirate ship, one on the vampire pirate ship, hence Vampirates. It's the start of a series, and it was really, really, really good. This was one of my favorites of the Reading Rush. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I felt like it would be okay. This was better than okay. I really enjoyed it. I actually have the, um, the second novel in the series in my shopping cart ready to go as soon as I get paid, along with some Christmas presents, but we're not going to talk about that. I, I liked this book a lot. It was really good. It was really interesting. I loved the dynamics and like the differences between the regular pirate ship and the vampire, sh vampire pirate ship and just like how the twins were dealing with being separated both thinking the other was dead it was just it was really good story recommend it if you like vampires and pirates and sea stories and shanties and that is it that is my reading rush complete and wrapped up and i'm so happy i completed everything i got all the badges including the gold one that says completing all the things ah! i also made a super cute bullet journal page in my thing for the reading rush i put effort into this and it actually came out good and I'm happy. There you guys go. If you participated in the reading rush, please let me know what was your favorite read. What book did you finish? What book did you nearly finish but not quite? Let me know how your experience was because mine, I'm so happy this is the first year I finished everything. I'm not sure what's happening with the reading rush website after this. It'll probably go on like a hiatus until the next year. I don't know, but if you want to add me, feel free to. My link is in the description. It's just Steph, okay? I'm the girl with the beach towel bat arms. You'll find me. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later. Bye.